Yap Yap, a grunt who was part of the raiding mission aboard the Pillar of Autumn, was saddened to see so many of his dead brethren strewn across the bulkhead of the human vessel. He would have preferred the coven that destroyed the human ship from range with their superior weapons, though the minor prophet of stewardship forbade it. Sighting a stray plasma torpedo could miss the human ship and damage the holy ring. As such, Yap Yap was one of the many grunts made up of the raiding force that had lost so many attempting to stop the humans from landing on the ring. Though Yap Yap heard a groan among the bodies and to his surprise, it was not another Ungoy, but a special Operation Sanghili who had been knocked unconscious by a human projectile that narrowly missed his head. Yap Yap's comrade, Gagor, thought it best to leave the Sanghili, as Ungoy were almost always used as fodder among Sanghili-led units. But Yap Yap was cunning enough to realise that aiding the Sangahili here would mean he could be absent from the next slaughter of Ungoy troops. Yap Yap and Gagor would ferry the Sangahili away from the ill-fated raid to the safety of the truth and reconciliation. The Sangahili's name was Zuka Zamami, and by saving a senior officer, Yap Yap had extended the duration of his own life. Yap Yap was part of a Covenant unit that more often than not had sleepy assignments, and after the raid on the Pillar of Autumn, Yap Yap would be very comfortable to return to such sleepy assignments. However, Zuka Zamami was eager to meet the Ungoy that saved him, and when he did, he bestowed an accolade upon the Ungoy, acknowledging the initiative that Yap Yap undertook aboard the Autumn, and accompanying Zamami's kind words was a transfer of Yap Yap from his relatively safe and quiet unit to Zamami's own special operations unit, where Yap Yap would replace Zamami's assistant, who was killed on board the Autumn. The relief Yap Yap had felt after he escaped the autumn with the wounded Zamami turned into terror, as Yap Yap's first duty as Zamami's assistant would be to accompany the Sangheili to a meeting with the Council of Masters, where Zamami would pitch his own plan to trap and kill the Spartan who shot him. Initially, Zuka Zamami's request to hunt down the Spartan was denied, but a human raid spearheaded by the Spartan on the Truth and Reconciliation had left several hundred Covenant troops dead as well as the release of a valuable prisoner in exchange for only 36 human soldiers killed. These changes in circumstance meant the Sangheili aristocrat Sohar Rolami permitted Zamazi to hunt down the Spartan, who was believed to be the last of his kind. Yap Yap would accompany Zamami every step of the way. Zamami's first trap was in the silent cartographer, where a pair of hunters backed up by a group of Ongoy was to ambush the Spartan. However, things went astray when the hunters could not immediately stop the Spartan, with one of the hunters slamming into the back of Zamami, sending him spinning to the floor. One of the grunts under Yap Yap's command, Ling Ling, panicked and fired an overcharged plasma pistol bolt into the back of one of the hunters, killing it and causing it to tumble into the adjacent hunter which fell to the ground, allowing the Spartan to put a killing burst of gunfire into the second hunter's back. As Yap Yap backed away from the Spartan, he was showered in Ling Ling's blood. Though Yap Yap was lucky to survive the encounter when he was grabbed and pulled into a cargo pod where Zamami had been hiding. It was essential for Yap Yap to survive, because he would be imperative in Zamami's next attempt to catch the Spartan. And this time, Zamami could not fail. The minor prophet of stewardship was displeased with the results of aristocrat Sohar Rolami and had him beheaded, warning Zamami that it would be his head next if he continued to disappoint. And so Yap Yap would be used as bait to lead Zamami and his Spec Ops Sanghili to Alpha Base, when they hoped to find the Spartan. In order to make Yap Yap look like convincing bait, he was enthusiastically beaten up by Zamami and his Sanghili, and left to wait for capture. Though the prospect of death from dehydration, starvation or suffocation from the lack of methane seemed likely, Yap Yap was indeed captured by Lieutenant Melissa McKay and taken back to Alpha Base. All Yap Yap had to do was to signal his beacon hidden within his breathing apparatus at first sight of the Spartan. Zuka Zamami and his Spec Ops Angheili had captured the UNSC Pelican 217 and killed all on board save the pilot who would fly them into Alpha Base. The air traffic controllers of Alpha Base were suspicious of Pelican 217 as they believed it either lost or destroyed as the dropship had never been to Alpha Base. In response, they brought the base up to full alert and had a response team ready at the landing pad. But despite these measures, Zamami and his Sanghili were able to kill most of the response team. Though the Marines and ODSTs of Alpha Base did not take long to start repelling the invaders who utilised Scorpion main battle tanks, Marine snipers and troops equipped with night and heat vision goggles to detect the camouflaged elites, Zamami was a moment too slow to stop a technician from activating the 50mm auto turrets 
that began shooting down Covenant dropships that were meant to act as reinforcements. Most compartments of the base had humans that Zamami and his Sangheili quickly slaughtered, but none were the Spartan he seeked. When Yap Yap saw Zamami, he was relieved that the Sangheili had come to rescue him. But of course, it was only because Yap Yap had briefly glimpsed the Spartan, and so in theory, would know his location. This is where Yap Yap would play his card. Having had enough of being pushed around and mistreated by Zamami, Yap Yap misled the Sangheili into believing the Spartan was protecting captured Banshees. The attack had stalled, and many Sangheili had died, but Zamami saw no other option but to press on. Otherwise, the Prophet would have his head. Zamami Sangheili came under intense gunfire from a marine fire team who killed swaths of Ungoy and Sangheili commandos, and death almost reached Zamami as his plasma rifle failed to fire due to overheating. But he was graced by survival once again, thanks to Yap Yap who threw a timely plasma grenade, killing the entire marine fire team. Yap Yap told Zamami to follow him, and like he were following orders from a superior, he did where he followed the Ungoy to a row of park banshees with no guards, and importantly, no sight of the Spartan. Zamami was angry, confused, and demanded to know the location of the Spartan, but Yap Yap responded that he had no idea where the Spartan could be found. Zamami at first responded with the threat of leaving Yap Yap to be thrown off a cliff by the humans. That was until Yap Yap used all of his courage to point his plasma pistol at Zamami's head. He demanded Zamami fly himself and Yap Yap away from the base in a banshee, and to Yap Yap's surprise, Zamami followed his command once again. The attack on Alpha Base was a complete failure for the Covenant. When Zamami and Yap Yap arrived at the Pillar of Autumn, they were greeted by the stressed and overworked Sangheili Ontomi, who was pleased to see the pair join his ranks and was given command of 20 Kigya, and Yap Yap being given an on the spot promotion to non commissioned officer though Zamami was deeply afraid he might be exposed for his failures, and so took on the alias of the dead Sangheili commando, Huki Umami. Because of the fear Zamami felt, he delegated much of his command to Yap Yap, who ordered the Kigyar to carefully move from the ship to be vigilant when opening Covenant supply cases, as some might contain the flood, which some of them did, and slowly consumed the ranks of jackals. Ontomi became aware of the Spartan's presence on the Pillar of Autumn, and asked amongst his troops who had the strength and courage to kill the Spartan. Zamami felt an instant motivation once again, and volunteered himself straight away. Zamami had believed this whole time that Yap Yap wanted to kill the Spartan as much as he did, and was sorry to tell Yap Yap that he should remain at a communications console to feed him information on the Spartan's actions and location, instead of being there for the kill. But Yap Yap didn't want to be anywhere near the kill when it happened. While Zamami went off to hunt the Spartan, Yap Yap saw increasingly negative reports of the Covenant being attacked by the Flood and Sentinels, but he wouldn't relay that to the Sangheili, so instead told him he would be able to catch the Spartan on an elevator that leads up to the ship's spine. Zamami announced that they would find each other when the Spartan was dead, but Yap Yap had a feeling that Zamami, as well as everyone else, was going to die, and so he loaded up a ghost with extra methane and food and sped away from the Pillar of Autumn, feeling happiness for the first time in a long time. Zamami and a handful of Ongoy had placed the Shade Terror on the elevator which opened fire at the first sight of the Spartan. Zuka Zamami felt his spirits lifted as his opponent ran for cover, his Shade Terror slowly but surely chipping away at the place the Spartan had elected to hide. But to Zamami's surprise, the elevator descended, his target now out of his sights. He cursed the Ongoy who had joined him believing they had tampered with the elevator. In reality, Cortana had taken control of the lift, and the Master Chief threw a couple of frag grenades down the elevator shaft, which detonated, sending Zuka Zamami spiralling into the air. He got one last look at the Spartan, before he landed on the floor and felt his spine snap and twist. And that concludes this lore video on the unfortunate tale of Zuka Zamami and his quest to kill a Spartan, but also on the somewhat happy ending for Yap Yap. Thank you for tuning in, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and to keep in the loop with more Halo content from us, hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel for more. And until next time Spartans, this is Josh, signing out.